on, everybody? This is Nalita with DFWnext.com, and I'm here with the beautiful Candy Red. How are you doing? All right. Excellent. Okay. How's everything going here at the conference so far for you? Everything going real good. The Go DJs, you know, I had to come out and support them. Um, last year, you know, I did the same interview with y'all, and uh, that was when I was first getting a record on. Go DJ supported it, so I definitely had to come out and show love again this year, because a lot of artists, once they get on, they don't come back and show the DJs love, so I had to, had to do that for the Go DJs. Exactly, exactly. So, with the great success of your single, Independent Chicks Life, tell me more about that, or like, what do you have going on now? What's next? Uh, we shot the video, of course, with Boomtown. Uh, shout out to Mr. Boomtown. He did this thing, him and his team, they held me down for the video. And uh, we about that, that you can be expecting to see that on MTV and BET pretty soon. And right now I'm pumping the second single, which is Stiletto Stump. So all the ladies, hey. step your heel game up. Summertime coming around, five inches or higher, Stiletto Stump. Y'all be looking out for it. Exactly. Another anthem for the ladies. I know all the ladies appreciate that. We we often talk about like the lack of female hip-hop artists nowadays. And you know, how do you feel about that? Or what do you think is holding it back for female artists? Um, I don't think anything is holding it back. I just think uh, a lot a lot of women don't choose to rap, you know, it's a I male see. dominant, it's, it's a male thing, I guess. Most, most women, you know, they sing and stuff. But I mean, the uh, ladies who are doing it, they really holding it down. Because I can remember when BET had an award show and Rem Remy Ma won the award, yeah. she won by default because there wasn't enough female artists. And now you got women like uh, Nicki Minaj, Trina back doing her thing. I heard Eve on uh, Ludacris' remix, Diamond from Prime Mob, she back on the scene. And uh, ladies just holding it down. So I think 2010 going to be a real good year for us. I wanted to ask you, too, do you ever feel the pressures for female artists to be more sexy or have sexual content in their lyrics, you know? That, of course, uh, the boys are going to want that. You know, that's why I do a lot of anthems for the women, because as a woman, you know, more females are going to be receptive to our music because we don't have a female making music for us. You know, the guys, they got the D-boy music and stuff. For them in the club, it's time for us to have something for us, too. There's nothing wrong with the sexual lyrics, but I wouldn't create a whole album of that. I feel like the female consumer is really being cheated because if all we have to offer is how good we look and how we can work our body, then we don't have much to offer. Yeah. So who would you say is your all-time favorite female hip-hop artist? I would have to go with Lauryn Hill. Uh, We're on the same boat on that one. Lauryn Hill, the brat. She was the first female to go platinum. A lot of people don't know that. The brat and uh, R.I.P. Lisa Left Eye Lopez. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like that. Good choice. A very good choice in the female artist. Well, I really appreciate everything. How can people contact you? Like, where can they find out more information? And if y'all want features, uh, promoters who want to book me for any shows, anything, y'all hit us up. 281-903-6222. That's 281-903-6222. I'm always online. My MySpace, my Facebook, my Twitter. Uh, mostly I'm on Twitter. You can hit me up at Candy Red. That's C-A-N-D-I-R-E-D-D. -E it comes straight to my phone. So that's just like having my number. You hit me on Twitter, I will see it. I was going to say, those fans, you know, they're after you after this. <laughs> but anyway, I really appreciate your time. Make sure you keep checking out Candy Red. Check out DFWnext.com. You guys stay tuned.